people of the internet, my name is Johnny. Welcome back, finally, to some more FNAF news. We're finally getting back into the swing of things. And we've got a whole bunch of stuff to talk about, so much so that, in fact, I'm gonna be splitting this up into two different FNAF news videos. We got a whole bunch of stuff to talk about today, and then in a few days, we also have some more stuff regarding Pop Goes. Looking at my list here, some Hex products, some brand new information from Steel Wool. But today, we still got a whole bunch of topics, including book merchandise, a bunch of brand new Funko products, products as well as a whole bunch of YouTube's products. So if you're excited, please hit the like button. If you're brand new, consider subscribing since we're getting back into FNAF news and you don't want to miss what we're going to be talking about next. And now let's kick things off by talking about probably the most important topic of all, the Freddy Fazbear Pillow Pet. Because while I was away, we finally got this sucker released to us and in fact, as of a few days ago, some people are getting their orders already arriving. If you place an order, he should be in by February 1st, according to Pillow Pet. And speaking of some interesting merchandise to say the least revealed to us not too long ago was the Funko FNAF skateboard. We've got this jolly fellow holding it up to us, showing off the design. Looks to include some Funko versions of Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, and Foxy. And I've heard reports that some people have already found these in stores, though I haven't seen pictures of them besides this one guy. Also brand new from Funko are the 10-inch Nightmare Bonnie and Nightmare Freddy plushies. I think I talked about these in a Funko FNAF News video, but just in case, I'm gonna throw them in here in case you missed it. These guys are gonna be exclusive to Hot Topic, and in fact, people I know for a fact have been finding these in stores already. For some reason, these guys have a very different design from what we're used to with Funko and their FNAF plushies, but also they have a fantastic attention to detail and, in my personal opinion, I think they represent the nightmares just a bit better than their original plushies. And speaking of Funko taking their old products and tweaking them up a little bit, we got 13 and a half inch uh, figures of Freddy and Bonnie. These guys are up for pre-order on Entertainment Earth right now for $33. However, I do know people have been able to find these in stores and in fact have posted pictures of their, for some reason, posable jaw. So yeah, it seems like these figures can open and close their mouth, which is a little weird, but whatever. There is also going to be a 13 and a half inch Golden Freddy figure that's going to be exclusive to some store coming pretty soon. And if you want more updates on that and also the entirety of the brand new Balloon Circus Wave, I've made a few videos covering those. I'll leave them linked down below. I'm not going to cover them too much because, you know, I've already done dedicated videos talking about them. But while we're on the topic of brand new waves from Funko, Tony Mario Bros, who's a proud leaker of the FNAF Funko scene, today actually released an announcement claiming that we're going to be getting a holiday wave of products featuring action figures figures, pops, and plushies of these holiday-themed variants of Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, and Foxy. Last time we talked about these holiday products, it was only the pops, but I guess now we're getting a full wave. And also, some holiday-themed products we're going to be getting later this year during winter is a brand new advent calendar. This was also leaked by Tony Mario Bros, and it's possible this version of the advent calendar is going to have the actual holiday-themed characters we saw in that last wave image, but we're just going to have to wait and see. Certainly a very interesting leak. Going to be very curious to what those brand new holiday themed characters are going to be looking like. And actually, before we move on from Funko stuff, just want to pop in quick because I got this bad boy in the mail today, the FNAF Scare in the Box game. It's a lot bigger than I was expecting, honestly. I have no plans to open it just because I don't really see myself actually playing the game. Oh my god, it's the same design on all three sides. That's hilarious. Maybe I'll do a YouTube short talking about this game, but... I, I don't know. I thought I'd show it off. If you want it, it is on Funko's website. And something else that came out recently was the fourth, four, yes, four, Tales from the Pizzaplex Submechanophobia book featuring the baddest B in all the land, Delilah the Mermaid. So yeah, if you want to go pick up the fourth entry in the Tales from the Pizzaplex series, it's out right now. Also today, we got the official cover for the upcoming FNAF graphic novel trilogy box set. We've gotten a few box sets for all the FNAF books in the past. Looks like this one's going to feature the uh, graphic novel versions of the original trilogy of books with Charlie and all those guys. This has a release date of October the 3rd of 2023, so pretty far away. And then we also got the cover for the official FNAF cookbook revealed to us not too long ago. Interestingly enough, looks like it's going for a security breach theme. On the cover, you have what appears to be just a stock photo of a pizza. I don't know if it's actually a stock photo, but it definitely looks like it. It also says over 40 recipes inspired by the games on the cover. And apparently there's going to be an exclusive bar 
Barnes and Noble edition of the cookbook that's going to feature a bonus recipe. Not sure what that bonus recipe is going to be, but certainly interesting. Hopefully it's actually something good if they're making a full exclusive version of the book for it. And this is going to be released in September. So once again, pretty far away. And actually going back to graphic novels, we got the official cover for the third volume of the Fazbear Frights graphic novel collection revealed to us. This third version of the collection is going to feature the stories of Step Closer, Bunny Call, as you can see, Ralpho is on the cover, and also Hide and Seek. And in fact, today we got some previews of the story for Hide and Seek. The first preview features what appears to be the main characters in an arcade. I haven't actually read Hide and Seek, so if these aren't the main characters, I apologize. This is the second panel. As you can see, you've got a little chibi sprite of Shadow Bonnie, who I believe is the main antagonist of Hide and Seek. A bit more of the main character walking around, and then in the third panel, wow, this looks a bit gruesome. Looks like the main character is being stitched up, stitched together. Once again, I've not read this story, so this looks very strange to me. And once again, the third collection is coming out around September. And also revealed to us today was the eighth Tales from the Pizzaplex book. At least that's what we're thinking. This is the cover and immediately off the bat, you can spot a few strange details. First and foremost, those grippers. What the heck are those to those tootsies doing on the cover of this book? Get them grippers out of here. But of course, the second thing you would notice is that B7 is a story we've already read. I believe it was in um, the second Tales from the Pizzaplex book, Haps. And also the cover doesn't feature the number eight. So it's possible this is either a continuation of the story B7, or this is just a mistake. And this isn't actually going to be the eighth entry in the Tales series. I'm not entirely sure. I'd love to know what are your thoughts on this. It is a very gruesome and terrifying cover. So another theory is that this maybe was the original cover for Haps. But just like this scenario with the breaking wheel in Fazbear's frights the cover was too gruesome so they had to switch it up a bit change it to haps instead of this i'm not entirely sure again that's just a theory don't take it for fact and now for the final topic for today we got a whole bunch of u2's news so let's try and rapid fire through these you may remember in a past fnaf news video this was the official concept art for the burn trap figure well it looks like that design has been tweaked just a little bit and a silhouette of burn trap is up on the u2's website so very likely burn trap is going to be part of this upcoming wave we're going to be getting pretty soon as for other concept art u2 showed off we actually got the official concept art for the upcoming Mangle figure, and this looks absolutely fantastic. A lot of detail put into this figure. I'm really looking forward to it. It looks like this is going to be an absolutely amazing addition to the FNAF collection, so absolutely phenomenal job on that, you twos. And then also another fan favorite character that's getting a figure pretty soon is Sun. This is a 360 degree look at what their design is going to be. Looks like they're doing the pose pretty similar to the statue that they have outside of the daycare um, area in Security Breach. And once again, the detail on this guy is just absolutely incredible. Very likely, he's also going to be a part of this brand new wave coming up. Also, for U2's news, we got brand new plushies. First up, of a sitting Pop Goes. Very similar to the sitting Vanny that's right up here. Pop Goes looks absolutely adorable. I'm very, very happy we're getting more uh, Fanverse merch. And we do have a bunch of other Fanverse merchandise to talk about in the next FNAF News video. So once again, stay tuned for that. Subscribe so you don't miss out. And as well as Pop Goes, we also have Candy and Ignited Freddy getting some plushies. It was officially confirmed that they're getting sitting plushies by Austin in the Discord server for U2s. And speaking of sitting plushies from U2s, we also got a Freddy Fazbear sitting plushie revealed the other day on their TikTok. He looks practically identical to the one that's standing up, so if you have the standing one, don't really see why you'd get the sitting plushie. But I'd imagine they're just making these for the uh, people that missed out on that initial wave of plushies. And the final topic for today are the brand new riding versions of the Sun and Moon plushies from U2s. And now once again, we technically did get plushies of the daycare attendant Sun and Moon. It's in the collector's edition box. And actually, I'm gonna do a video unboxing that fully, so don't worry, but this is what he looks like. I haven't taken him out of his bag yet, but he's pretty big. So again, I'm sure they're making these shorter plushies, so people who missed out on that plushie, because it was a pretty expensive collector's edition. So people do have a chance to get Sun and Moon plushies in case they missed out on that. But that's gonna do it for this first FNAF news video. Once again, I've got another FNAF news video coming out in the next couple days talking about hex talking about pop goes talking about brand new stuff from steel wool and security breach so stay tuned for that you definitely don't want to miss it thank you so much for watching this fnaf news video and i'll see you all on the flip side goodbye